everyone, welcome to today's live art show. Today we're gonna be painting a cosmic landscape, a fantasy scene. So, but if we're just meeting, I'm Lara with Mural Dreams and I share art and inspiration to elevate and pro provide a very happy and chill mood. So let's get into it. Ah, usually we have some tea and today's tea wisdom is peace of mind comes piece by piece. So cheers everyone and let's get into the art. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today I'm using the Arteza acrylic colors. I have oh, these, um, the 14, the set of 14 acrylic colors. I'm also probably gonna be using the iridescent paints. Those are gonna be later after the first coat. So, uh, I have a black canvas here and I just sketched loosely with a graphite pencil, kind of like an idea what that I wanna do. So, um, let me get a paintbrush here. And I usually use flat, flat paint brushes. So they're all flat like this. They provide a really nice edge. And let me just get the screen over so that I can see. If you guys are commenting, uh, stuff like that. All right, I have some water here, very handy. And I have some rags, I have some paper towels. All right, so some black paint. We need the black for that cosmos. Uh, so it comes in these pouches. Just gonna get some out on my Stay Wet palette. This is not gonna be exactly what I'll be doing, but it's just like a little, it's a... Just a very basic and relative design. All right, let's do some of this blue. Let me see, what color blue? It's a phthalo blue. I want it to be kind of dark on the outside. And coming in, it's gonna be a little lighter. It's gonna have some different cosmic colors. ultramarine blue so I just started this mural series a series of four four videos and I share pretty much everything that I learned in my in my mural painting experience and at the end I'm gonna show you how to paint a mural so we're just at the tips tip stage where I share the tools and everything. I'm dipping in some purple. So the first first layer is just just the first layer. There's gonna be another layer so it's just gonna tell me where I'm gonna put the things. But usually I use two layers, two or three layers, because acrylics can be quite transparent. Let's get some of the, some of the red, some of this crimson, or let me get some of this scarlet red. The Arteza reds are so vibrant. to do 
have some space fish over there. Might have a planet over here. Might have a planet over here. Okay, and also a planet over here. Colors wet on wet, you get mixed together and you get this very misty, soft effect. But these acrylic paints, it's really important to keep dipping them in water because they do dry very fast. And it's good to just kind of work swiftly. Also use a one of those um, retarders or uh, a blending medium, but I didn't get it out yet. So okay, we can jump from <laughs> from corner to corner. winging it, just using my imagination, just uh, whatever comes to mind in terms of colors. I have not really planned this very far ahead. I was just looking at some reference photos, some nebulas, and uh, not really a set plan in my mind. But you know, nebulas are kind of kind of chaotic and unexpected and you can just use your, your imagination because they're beautiful. You should use the dabbing method more. I don't want to have brush strokes, but again, this is just the first layer, so it doesn't really matter that much. Ultramarine blue. Yeah, we were using the ultramarine blue because a little green shade, I think. Is it green shade? I don't know. I think it looks more like purple shade. I have learned uh, in my experience that it's really good to plan it ahead. And also, sometimes I can't, I can't help improvising. Sometimes it's just more fun to show up without really a plan in your mind and just see where the painting takes you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't worry, I'll put that fish back in there. I'm really loving that purpley. Purple that was created there. So as you can see, I pretty much just um, painted right over my my lines. And no, I can't see them. <laughs> That's all right. Let's go into this purple. Yeah. Let's get, get some white. Lighten it up a bit, but not too much. It's gonna be a very colorful nebula.
So if you're interested in all the materials that I that I use for my murals, you can go and watch the video. And uh, if you want to paint along, paint a mural with me, that'd be so cool. And uh, that will happen in the fourth video probably in uh, two or three weeks. So it's gonna be look something like this, but not exactly because I never like to paint or to create the same thing twice. It's kind of boring for me, but it's gonna look similar. Let's get some white, lighten it up a little bit. We don't want it to be so dark. some red get some white to look at it on the side because if I look at it straight like this it's a uh, glare I can see already dry so it's not gonna blend in so well but just using circular motions Ooh. that it's best to limit your color palette but also sometimes I can't help going super colorful rainbow <laughs> I don't want this to be so dark although once we add the stars it's gonna look really cool to have the stars in a very dark background I don't want it to be dark let's soften it up a little bit now Just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing at the edge of the brush. Now this brush is, I've used it a few times. It's not one of those new brushes. I reserve my new flat brushes for, for when I need to use the edge. All right, so this part is mostly purple. So just so you know, the Arteza paint set does not have the purple. I'm using the Liquitex uh, Basics purple. Well, actually it's the Prism Violet. This. But they do have purple in other sets, I just don't have it in this one. I'm probably 
gonna wanna have more more yellow. of darkness. This is really easy guys, you just kind of mix paint together on the canvas and just let it go. And at the end, you can't go wrong with the colors. <laughs> Scarlet red, a little bit of white right on the edge of my brush. Ultimately, I think I'm leaning very heavily on this orange-purple kind of theme. Grab some white. I'm also wetting my brush a little bit. <clears throat> on my palette. So I just got some of that phthalo blue, some yellow, and a little bit of white. I would really lift it, but uh, my stay with palette is quite big. of my future fish in the sky. My brush is getting dry, gotta wet. Okay. Get some of that color. We're gonna get some white. Purple down there. 
This is certainly a very colorful video. Okay, I want to go back to my, my little cloud up there. Bring back the yellows. Still have, uh, still have some blue on my brush. Yeah, let me clean that up. Some yellow. Lemon yellow, and I think I'm just getting just a touch of red to warm it up a little bit. Let's see how orange this is. This is quite orange, I like it. Oh, yeah, that's nice orange. Nice highlights on these clouds. what explosion took place in this cosmos in this world what's burning over here. gonna do a time lapse of this too to show how I did it. It's probably gonna be much more well if you wanna see it live and learn how to do it this is great. If you wanna see a shorter version I'll probably do and then you can put all sorts of these dark peaks like they're in space all sorts of little clouds that are in front of these dark or very bright places. I want 
pretty sure that I have enough color to just cover slightly here. Uh, remember where I put the mix. Before we get on to the next step, let's put in put in some stars. So I'm gonna get another paint brush. Mm, drink some tea. Grab some white paint and slightly dilute it. So I'm just um, adding a little bit of water to it. And then I'm just going to flick the stars. I need more paint. I'm gonna flick some stars onto my onto the canvas. And hopefully nowhere else. of that streak you don't have to we can just lighten everything up with it just create something else there we go okay let's make some more stars here water, got some white paint. This is so effective in just making some pretty stars and some stars go a long way to making a really magical sky. your brushes don't cooperate that's okay just make a, a bright shine maybe your your star is shining really brightly and we're gonna make a super big star over there you know usually I make stars with with a toothbrush but I don't think I have a tooth toothbrush right here do I Mm. I don't have a toothbrush. Well, I got another paintbrush. Let me try again to make, to make these stars. I promise you guys, I've made stars in the past and it worked. There we go. Oh, so much better. <laughs> you need an older brush. This is working so much better. 
So just add the stars before you go on to the next step, before you paint your planets, before you go to the foreground or the actual landscape because then you can't add them afterwards because you're gonna put stars all over everything else. And that wouldn't be good. Alright, just adding I'm diluting my water, my <laughs> my white paint. I hope you can see all the stars back there. There are a lot of stars. Very starry night. Okay, so after we added all those tiny, tiny, tiny stars, I think I'm gonna make some bigger stars. <laughs> Hi, old dude with them. Thank you for tuning in. Just having some fun with painting. Okay, so I'm gonna choose some of these stars and make them bigger. I'm gonna make the little things that stars do that glow, the shine. And here, where I had those happy accidents, that's gonna make the stars really glowy and it's really difficult to talk and paint at the same time. I don't know how Bob Ross did it. He was just a better man. Now, this can get kind of addictive and difficult to, to stop. <laughs> but, um, overdo it just add a few here and there try to not make them all at the same level some of them have all of the glows like they have the diagonal shines but some of them just have the up and down like the cross I'm always keeping my finger my pinky on the canvas and that stabilizes my hand And then after this, you can either add more glow to your stars once they have dried a little bit. Uh, after they've dried completely, actually. Okay. Let's do like a constellation of really big stars here. These are super stars. This is not a realistic scene. This is kind of like a fantasy scene. We don't know what the planets are, but I'm sure they are. They're fantastic places to live. Now, let me think, should this be like a purple planet or like a, let's do, um, let's do a purplish color here. A purple and a little bit of red. Maybe a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna make a nice brick or a very warm, yeah, kind of like a brick color. I think I'm gonna add more purple. You can add it right straight onto the. I'm gonna have to paint over the rings. Definitely more red than I had expected. <clears throat> that 
I added more yellow to the purple. Yeah, this is more like what I was envisioning. Oh, I did not use, hope you guys can see. I did not use a device to make my circle. This is just a freehand, freehand circle. It's probably not perfect, but it's okay. If you want to be exact, you can use a compass, which is what I usually use, but like I said, I didn't really plan this, I just kind of winged it. I'm winging it right now. like the base color and then I'm gonna go back and add some add some textures to it like there's gonna be some lines going that way let's do maybe that portion over there is gl glows and that's where the light is shining from so maybe this part in the back this back half is a little darker, so let's make this a little darker to show uh, dimension and the three dimensionality a little bit. I'm gonna darken this back part. And these rings are, not the rings, but the texture of the planet are kind of, kind of going with the flow of the rings. You put instead of black, I'm gonna use some blue to darken this. Yeah, a little more color. Maybe there's some worlds. or not painting or terrified of painting or looking at this right now and saying oh my gosh this is terrible well, it might be terrible <laughs> now, every painting goes through a through an ugly face you know where it's not done you don't really know where it's going and it can feel like you, you, you know, am i even an artist sort of situation and just Keep on trucking, keep on going, because it's going to make sense soon, so... Yeah, just have faith that you can do it, because you can. I just added some yellow to that. I'm going back to the red, purple. I added the tiniest bit of blue to that mixture, and it completely took over. Ooh, I have some, maybe some swirls. But I'm not going to get stuck on that. Let me flow. Orange. 
light really is very attractive in providing a, a highlight. It really is very strong. Oh, a little bit goes a long way with white. Hope my head isn't getting in the way. My image back so I can see what you can see. It's kind of dirty, so I guess it's gonna whoop. <laughs> Dropping my brush. Um, just adding that to the very edge. Let's go do these other two planets up here. Uh, what color should they be? They should be like a greenish maybe, maybe green. Since the back is dark, let's make this dark. So let me know where you guys are watching. It's really, I'm really curious where you're watching from. I'm here in sunny PA, Pennsylvania. And it's a really nice fall day today. It's warm, like 60 degrees, 65. Very pleasant outside. And it's sunny and it, I think it's like the last, <laughs> the last hurrah of, of warm fall day. I think it's gonna become very cool very soon. I'm just putting in some base in here. I'm trying to make this round <laughs> the best of my abilities. Maybe that planet is kind of like a blue planet. Let's make it bluish. to see <laughs> otherwise I can paint it I can see it right so I'm gonna kneel paint it like that it's actually much better and my head 
it's not in the picture. Great. Well, it's in the picture, but it's not in the way of my painting. back once my hair popped <laughs> we might have to go back once this paint dries to put another coat of a little more vibrant color back and uh, and do that planet let me just clean my brush maybe I can have a little cleaner blue and white just blue and white phthalo blue yeah, it's much more vibrant creating green. Oh, that's very vibrant though, very, very bright. Darken it up a little bit. <clears throat> this once it dry because you can blend a lot of colors on a wet, on a wet paint. like a workout. Um, maybe we'll add a little bit of our highlight up there to our planet. in the background in the back and then as we come forward it's gonna be orangey so it's kind of kind of like a Martian scene but in the back it's gonna be very atmospheric so 
it's gonna be more blue so I suppose the orange and blue is more like a purple so that's where we're going just like a I'm mixing the prism violet with some of the red and the yellow let's see what we get let's make it a little lighter too everything that's in the background should be little, things that are in the distance are a little lighter and as you come forward they are darker usually yes well this is pretty lit so might as well might as well be the day time in here so here's our purple Some rolling hills maybe decided to join me here today. Maybe let's add a little bit of white at the bottom of the hills. Maybe it's like a misty, misty atmosphere. Everything is all purple and magical looking. Oh, I guess coming like this. we can add some more red to that We're getting a little warmer maybe 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 oh that is much much more yellow I mean red and warm I don't want them all to be the same so come down like this I didn't add any atmosphere to the other hill Let's uh, soften them up like this. Just come forward. As we come forward, warm it up a little bit. I do have some plants up here. Let me get some more paint. Got some yellow in that mixture. Sitting on an astronaut's helmet. There are some crystals here. I can't not paint the background, so I just have to remember where I did them. 
just uh, an indication of where I left them. I'll remember, hopefully. Hopefully I'll remember. of red, adding a touch of yellow, and to our, to our purple. This is, oh yeah, that's a pretty color. I'm going all the way down. Oh, she's sitting in a crater. Also painting the edges I don't know if you guys paint your edges I always like to paint my edges any more purple Maybe I should my paint closer so I don't have to reach I do not have the expertise and the um, experience that Bob Ross had so uh, I'll, I'll get there so in the meantime you guys are troopers for sticking with me thank you very much if you're enjoying this content I would really appreciate it if you would give it a like and if you want to see more of this um, I go live every Sunday I try to so subscribe if you want to be notified the next time I come live also as I was saying if you didn't catch that earlier a declaration <laughs> if you didn't hear me earlier um i do have a, a mural painting in progress not in progress but soon to come and uh, i teach you guys how to paint a mural so if you're interested because being indoors a lot you know you can get that a little bit stuck inside that feeling of inclusion so you might want to make your space the way you want to feel like your own private love cave your sanctuary like I like to call my murals in my world so if you want your own safe place you can create it with paint pretty much what I'll be painting in my on my wall on, in the mural something like this it might look very much like this if I end up loving this exact thing or but you know I don't like to repeat myself to do the same exact thing very often so it might look uh, a little bit a little bit different maybe who knows well, it's okay, buddy. Hey, it's all right. It's okay. Dog's worried that he's not gonna get there. <laughs> but we always feed him. He's just at that age where he chews his paws, he licks his paws. It's okay. It's a dog comforting. Flashlight? Um, no, it's in the living room. Okay, let's get some red in here. Oh, that, that's pretty.
you. A girl is sitting on a helmet, on an astronaut helmet. Yeah. Cool, I think it's cool. <laughs> Not my daughter intruding on our session, on our painting session. Let me drink some tea. I'm getting thirsty. This tea is cold. Okay. Um, 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 um. While my while my dirt is drying, <laughs> while this all this uh, flat surface is drying, I'm gonna paint the helmet. No, I don't know why I didn't paint, paint the crater. I should paint the crater too. Prism violet, a touch, just a touch of white, some red. That, um, what red? It was the uh, scarlet red, just a touch of yellow. Alright, let's, let's do this inside here. Oh. Alright, I totally covered my crater, but it's okay. I'm gonna go back and do it with um, the black once it's dry. Okay. Let me grab another paintbrush. Okay, this is a flat brush again. I hope that it's kind of off white or maybe even silverish, but I have to block it in first so that uh, you can see the color. So let me just do it with white. up some of the color with the ground. Oh look cool. I like it's already becoming part of the part of the planet. I wonder where this helmet came from. I think I need some water. was thirsty. Okay, so um, right under she's sitting, under where she's sitting, it's gonna be a little darker. I'm adding some black, maybe I'll add a touch of blue too bring a little bit of color in the shadow actually let's shade it in the back there a little bit so i'm really loving the wet on wet technique a lot this is really easy to make a gradient to make blend the colors So you kind of have to work quite fast and uh, not over brush it, which is, you know, can be a, a challenge to not overwork it. For me too. I think that's the problem of most people, We most artists just when we want to do too much, you gotta just let it go and take a 
straight and step back see like i have not stepped back to look at my painting yet which is probably a mistake <sighs> i'm just gonna look at what you see that's nice i like it like okay it doesn't look too bad and also look at the screen more white in here. Well, I really didn't want it, the helmet to be just pure white. I want it to be a little, have a little bit of color in there, just like an off-white. It's okay if the, I actually want the uh, helmet to look a little old. Maybe we'll even put a crack in there <clears throat> to show signs that maybe somebody lost it a while ago. And it's been a relic for other civilizations to find and play on. <laughs> I have a whole story going on, folks. Now these, uh, these chisel brushes are really good for making for making very straight lines and they work best when they're new <laughs> because after you use them a few times they just don't work as well the bristles can fray and then you have to get new ones which is okay even with the old ones, you can make pretty cool. I'm just gonna do everything and then I'm gonna go back to do the black. Um, I think I should, should have done a little more here. Let's go into some black. To do the, the visor, I don't know what it's called, but uh, portions to where you see. Hope you're enjoying the music. We're having the music stream from the computer because so that you can hear it clearer. So, and I'm also playing music here with me because I like to listen to music while I paint and I hope it doesn't interfere with the, with the other music. This is the same music, but it's probably not in the same order. This is, uh, if you're enjoying it, I'm listening and I'm playing Epidemic Lo-Fi on Spotify. I really like the Lo-Fi music. So then, just kind of like this, and then kind of like this, I don't know exactly all the mechanics of an astronaut helmet, let's line it up, let's uh, outline it a little bit, bring a little more definition, got a Wet, wet it every now and then, otherwise it doesn't glide smoothly. Oh, the 
have been cool if the helmet was a little broken over there. It's kind of, it's kind of old. It's kind of destroyed. Maybe it's cracked. And down here, I wanted it to to have some of the colors of the. Maybe it's even buried in. Who knows? color from the environment it looks much more like it belongs it looks much more natural yeah we did love in this aging and after the black will dry we're gonna add a highlight in there but uh, I think we can go in and Put some indications of our craters. I got some black. I want to get some of the environment colors, like that red, the yellow. I just want to make a darker, a darker color of the landscape. A little bit of the purple, and a little. Did I put some blue? Maybe some blue, because oh, that kind of. Greens it. <laughs> Make it green. Oh, that's a crater. Alright, so let's think about the light. If the light is coming from this way, it's coming this way. So over here, the crater dipped. So then we have a shadow here. And then over here, the crater uplifts, but then goes backwards like this. And there's a shadow here. On the other side of the crater. Craters are really fun to build. <laughs> Let's get some more of the dark. shadow this way too. And this, my friend, is what creates that illusion of three-dimensionality. When you have this baby on a wall, big, it, it really does make you feel like you are immersed in another world. And that is what I love about murals. We get a little more black. It's 
okay to be really black in the foreground because also that is another thing that creates the illusion of 3D. In the foreground everything is darker. Well, in certain situations, in the daylight, when there is a source of light, or above not really necessarily backlit but here the light is kind of diffuse all right so now in the front we're gonna I'm gonna get our color a little bit of the prism but well, I should have made more more of this color but I'm just making it in small batches getting some more prism violet some of that uh, scarlet red and the yellow and then I'm adding some white because I'm gonna do in the sensory room. I did a lot of craters in there and actually the color scheme was very similar. Um, I, I do have a time lapse of that. I'll, in, the, in the replay I'll make sure to add the card. Uh, the cosmic sensory room, you can go and check it out. I think it's called cosmic um, making cosmic sense of, or sensory room mural. I'm not really sure what it was called, but uh, that was a very cool mural to paint. I think it's one of the best ones. Just added a little more white. But really, you, you can do this too. Then over here, I could add some white, some um, highlights. I don't know, I'm not really sure if the light is reaching there. I could always add highlights later if I feel like it needs it. Let's make some more, let's make some more craters. These are kind of addicting. Some of this 
I don't think I wanted to have a, a crater over there. Sometimes I change my mind. Started, I started a little later today, so I can go a little later. I think I started, it was past 2.30, so just in like an hour and a half, maybe. It's okay, I'm not in a rush. Nothing more important right now is so pleasant and if you're watching just imagine how lucky you are and we are to be able to indulge in such luxuries as watching YouTube videos of, of art and be healthy and all that good stuff you know because there are the people that I mean even us sometimes Sometimes life really throws a punch and you can you can relax enough to to do these things. So if you're watching this and enjoying it, you know, remember how lucky we are. Good every day to <laughs> to count our gratitudes, right? always feel like painting and sometimes I have to remind myself that I even have a saying actually when you're drawing no one is dying just because you are when you're creating art you're completely out of survival zone you, you can't possibly if you're in survival zone then you can't create you know you're escaping the line you're escaping some sort of anxiety uh, and something way more important is getting your attention so if you can afford to, to slow down and do these kind of things then you're alive my friend we're alive let's do some more craters in the back i'm adding some more purple to that mixture as we go back, our craters are getting smaller and smaller. And right now, I'm only really adding the, uh, the shadow. And once I add the highlight, then they're really gonna pop. I'm trying not to make them too, looking too much alike. some rocks here too we don't just have to have craters let's do some rocks It's 
Creed. <laughs> All right, so let's do a couple more over here on this side. Hey, Kale. My oh, little dog is looking at me, looking at me like, why you no feed me? It's time for dinner. Time for dinner. It's like 4 420 here in PA. Always 420 here in PA. Just kidding. Oh, no. I'm seeing that my head isn't getting in the way. Let's add some stones. Maybe they're kind of dark. A rock. backwards they should be less bright I mean less dark <laughs> they're, they're not as dark as they are as in the foreground There's little indications here and there maybe I didn't want to go that far some shadows to those little stones so I want to make a really transparent wash with my with my dark like, like the black and just make shadows underneath and to the side just in the same kind of brick color add a little bit of white add maybe teeny tiny bit of yellow because maybe the light is yellow let's have a yellowish orangish I mean, yellow orangish light highlight on everything <clears throat> so I'm just mixing the same dirty brush that I had before just adding some red and some yellow and just I like the stones here just on this side and um, then we're gonna highlight in the craters sometimes the highlight is the only Visible. And then 
world and in my lives. These are my very main highlights, so I don't want to go too crazy about the main highlights because they can, you don't want to overuse those, but let's do the highlights of the craters. using a teeny brush I don't know why I'm using this teeny brush let's see how is that a rock or a crater hmm, this is the crater be the moon. Maybe this is the moon. So if you feel like you want to live on the moon, you can paint it. Sometimes I say, if I can't have it, I paint it. Oh, I got some blue there. Where did I get the blue from? If I can't have it, I paint it. But then, you know, maybe I will have it in the end. But uh, paint is a great way to create something that you want to have. flat brush I'm gonna grab some white and the trick 
with the rings is that you want your water, you want your paint to be really transparent. So you only want a very teeny tiny bit of paint on your brush. You want it to be quite translucent. And then went kind of like whoop and that way because I wanted it to be transparent, right? Translucent. Yeah, that's about right. And maybe we can have some more. more. After those dry, I'm gonna go in with the with the iridescent paint. Okay, let's give our other planet a little more edge, a little more highlight. We can do a greenish highlight because the planet is blue. The light that is shining maybe is a little yellowish, so let's do something very, very light green. Let's see how that's gonna go. Maybe some green. And by green, I mean yellow. make the girl or whatever she is <laughs> um, maybe she's wearing something 
purple. And we're gonna add some white to that because the purple is that dioxin purple is quite uh, transparent. to be um, backlight. Maybe there's some sort of purple black light backlighting. realize that uh, it's probably better to have a more yellowish highlight here because everything is more yellowish more of a brick just went off again yeah I'm gonna bring some sort of purple highlight there in the back oh I still have some of the metallic get some metallic paint from when I painted the cat the cat scene with the moon 
still have that on my palette. So I can use that for the backdrop, for the backlight. switch to a smaller brush now using a number quarter inch but this is um this is an angled brush so you can get into those portrait master for sure and I don't know he always staring at the floor I wonder what he sees sometimes isn't it funny sometimes your dog just stares at something and you start wondering oh my gosh what is he seeing that I'm not seeing more 
of that planet covers back there. I can still do that. Now let's make her goggles. Let's make them black and then and then we can make the frames. You can see that I'm not taking the whole picture image. very very slowly I am not working for reference right now it's probably a big mistake um, just winging it always work from reference <laughs> that's my advice uh, I do when when I don't uh, do it in front of the camera and when I'm being a little wiser I definitely work from reference but uh Today, um, I'm just working from memory, I guess. Which you can always break the rules. If there are your rules, you can break them. <laughs> if there's somebody else's, you can still break them. Oh my gosh, what does that look like? That's weird. Let me bring some color in her. In our hoodie, at least. Okay, so you see how when you apply color over a light, over white, it looks so much better than if you would just add the, the purple like that, the color. Because it, there's another layer where the light can reflect from so it gives it more depth and more luminosity yes i like her purple hoodie paints I have some links in the description for you guys and they are affiliate links which means that if you purchase something I make a small commission at no cost to you 
and that's always very appreciated. I wouldn't recommend the paints if I didn't like them and use them, so you can be sure that they are good quality. And I really like their their business ethics and they are a small company. Maybe I should have uh, added that highlight there. Maybe her pants are indecision. Oh my gosh. Why are we so indecided? Undecided. Pants are just black. Or gray. And let's add that yellow highlight again. Why not? It would be cool to make to add some metallic paints to the mural. Wouldn't it? Adding some highlights on our boots. See what we do with our face. Um, she definitely needs. Well, at this point, we don't even know if it's a she or an it. <laughs> uh, you know, we can leave it to everybody's imagination. But it definitely needs to have a chin. Some of that dark. Just move it in. And yeah, it totally looks like she's blowing out something. Some glitter. Did I get a little bit of red to make her lips? A little bit of pink or something. Do we do that? Yeah, with the tiniest little brush. Let me get a teeny tiny brush. Let's see. This is very watered down. There we go. Let's add some highlights. Um, let's add some frames to these goggles. I'm using the silver. I'm using the silver and okay. oh, gotta let my dog out. Be right back in like a sec. There you go, okay. Somebody else. <clears throat> Take him out. There's other people living in here with me. Hope he goes and asks somebody to take him out. Otherwise, he's gonna go in the bathroom.
I think you can see the ridges. Well, anyway, um, let's move on. Mm, what else are we doing here? I think I just moved it. Uh, we're gonna make the rings iridescent, right? So let me grab my flat brush. Let me see what kind of paints, maybe. This yellow, this uh, dreamy lemon yellow, it's very yellow, and uh, maybe something orange, or yeah, some uh, some of this glowing peach. one corner in an orange I'm dipping the middle in the yellow and I'm dipping the other corner in the, the pink like so and now I'm just going to Some paints are very um, transparent. I have pink on the top. Let's do that again. Yellow, orange, and pink, like so. And this one, let me do. here uh, but I'm gonna make them really um, I was gonna make them subtle so they're kind of gonna be almost the same color but a little more purple but I gotta add some white so I'm gonna be a little purpley brick Let's start with this one. So just make some indications of some stones, some uh, crystals, and they're all clustery. So they're all kind of coming from the same center. They're all different heights. Um, what did I did? <laughs> I have so many places of, I have so, my palette is the messiest. Um, I'm making a point, I'm bringing it down.
some a little, a little more purple than others. creates transparency a little bit they're not all the same shade add some dark parts and some and um let's add some light parts to them too i'm just gonna dip into the white and then some edges are really gonna glow and so Then it all depends on where they go. If they are tilted back, then this is how. Um, so this, for example, I see it coming forward a little bit. So that if it's coming forward, I'm imagining that this is how the tip looks. It goes down, across, and across like that. Then sides come like that. But I don't want all of the edges to be outlined. It doesn't look very natural. I'm just outlining some edges. It doesn't all have to be outlined. And then if they're receding, if they're tilting back, for example, this one, uh, this one can be tilted back. Instead of going down like that, then it's coming up like that. Up, across, and down. And this looks like it's tilting back. Kind of like that. Brush is getting very dry. Speaking of dry, let me go with the water. Hey. Oh, today the water must have been must have been quite cold when I put it in the uh, in the, um, the cup because it's not very it wasn't very steeped. passing some shadow so that bricky color that I 
keep having to remake. I'm just adding some black to that. they should make everything brighter around them okay I had some I had a cluster here too but it's a little a little further away so I'm just making it a little bit smaller gonna say uh, I don't know must have not been important we have a cluster here in the crater I'm gonna make this a little slightly different color Maybe we have different kind of crystals here. Adding some more yellow to this one. Make this maybe it's... Ooh, I'm adding some metallic yellow. That's what I was gonna say. I'm probably gonna need a smaller brush <laughs> to add all the details. Yeah, I'm, I'm at that point. I need a smaller brush. I need more control of the situation. <laughs> Thank you so much, old dude wisdom. You're so sweet for tuning in and watching. I'm glad you're enjoying and I'm glad you're, you enjoyed the stream. I will catch you later. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> I'm definitely enjoying these metallics and I think I'm going to use them for my mural in small quantities of course because they come in teeny tiny tubes so maybe I didn't want to do those there but I can use the metallic oh actually this is the iridescent I'll use the iridescent orange for this something dark here maybe this is an ametrine an amethyst citrine cluster if you love crystals as much as I love crystals <laughs> then uh, let me know Wow. 
very very iridescent white it has a lot of mica powder in it cool definitely looks like it's glowing holy macaroni I never say that I don't know why I just said that I think it's because I had macaroni before I, I came alive here <laughs> before I came on it's a macaroni Let's do another one. Let's do the smallish cluster over there. <clears throat> Maybe this one is gonna have some purple and also some blue. Yeah, I have some iridescent blue here from last time. Oh yes, I like that. Could have used some of the blue in, in the sky too. That could have been cool. But um, let me add some more of the native color so that it doesn't look alienated. Not that there's some, anything wrong with that. But uh, we want to make it look like it belongs. nothing wrong with something a little weird every now and then okay let's um let's add a little bit of shadow underneath a little bit of shadow under here need more black that is missing is I was gonna do some spade fish <laughs> let's do some spade fish I'm gonna start with my ultramarine blue oh and she was gonna blow you know kind of okay uh, let's do that I'm gonna grab my flat brush and rinse it again in the cleaner water because my water is getting very dirty. I have my flat brush here and she's blowing something upwards. Well, let's get some of our iridescent color. I have here some white Some white iridescent. Alright. Yellow. 
really want it to be like a rainbow. Maybe do some. I don't want to overdo it quite so fast. I want to see. I want to go gradually and see how it's gonna look. Okay, I'm gonna do the orange. Let's see if like this maybe. Oop. It's orange. It's more like. So when you put it on, is it orange? It looks like orange, but it, the shine is purple. Iridescence. And let's do some of the blue. These are very pretty. You know what? I think the blue is just metallic. I don't think it's iridescent, but it doesn't matter. Let's do it. Plum, okay. The electric plum purple. I want to use all that. So these iridescent paints are very similar to the folk art color shift. If you're familiar with that? With those? Oh, I really like that. That's nice. So the trick is to put them in very very thin layers, they are so transparent you can barely even see it on my brush but it leaves this very shiny film that when you look at it in a different light, from a different angle you can totally see it, yeah you can kind of see it. here the last time we'll do some of that again oh that was the, that was the orange that I did orange that was some of this I don't want them to look kind of all the same and there we go and a little more of that blue I think do I need to water it because it's a little dry I'll add a teeny tiny bit of water <laughs> them a little wider at the top. I like that. 
let's do some more of that. Orange. Orange, that looks like pink. Maybe I'll even add some of the pink. A little dry. And, uh, yes, it's not dry. Add some water. Sign off. Pièce de résistance, I tell you. Okay. Second one, look more like a fish. This is the last thing that I'm doing right now. Just a fish. Oh, just a quick, uh, kind of like a color version of the mural that I'm gonna do upstairs on the stairs. Of course, the yeah, the mural is gonna have more elements and such, but uh, I wanted, I had this idea, and I wanted to see how it looks. And uh, I, I kind of like it, of course. So. Face is probably gonna look like a human. Or, yeah. <laughs> Can't even see that. Maybe with white.
painting teeny tiny fishes. Oh, not my strong suit. I'd rather paint something bigger. We're imagining that this fish is really far away and you can barely see it. These are like space octopi rather than fish. It's okay. You're gonna see the full version, the better version hopefully, <laughs> of this in a mural form. If you follow my mural journey, if you're interested and you, this is the first you've heard of it and you're interested in it, make sure to subscribe and I will post a new video next week about um, some tips to remember when painting a mural and then we're gonna get into the painting of the mural I think for now I'm gonna sign off my friend oh you know what hang on hang on don't leave <laughs> I just put a just a highlight on this helmet I remember that I wanted to do that just a quick little highlight on this helmet Thank you so much for watching today and stay tuned to my mural painting journey if you enjoy this tune in next sunday when we'll have another art show where i'll be painting something or drawing i don't know yet it's gonna be a surprise so stay tuned trust the flow i love you all and see you next time bye Mwah.